everyone. Welcome to another Take and Make Craft with Miss Meg. This week we're making rainbow animal art. All you need is the craft kit from the library, some washable markers, some water, a paintbrush or an eyedropper if you have it, otherwise a spoon will work, and a lot of paper towels. So let's get started. Each kit is going to come with these materials in it. You can do whatever you want with them. I'm just going to walk you through one way to make your rainbow animal art. So you're going to get these vinyl stickers. There's eight different animal shapes and they're really easy to peel off and stick onto your cardstock. Everyone is going to get four pieces of cardstock so you can make sort of a window effect on your art when you're done. Um, the stickers are restickable, so if you put them a, a shape on and you don't like where it is, you can move it. Um, you, we want them to be able to be peeled off so that when we are finished with everything and it's dry, we can just peel the stickers off and you'll get that great silhouette of your animal. So I'm going to start today with the turtle and the owl. And I have a piece of the cardstock that's in there. It's a watercolor paper, so it means it'll absorb the color, the pigment, but not necessarily all of the color. So I've peeled my turtle off, and it's just a vinyl sticker, and I'm going to put him down where I would like him to go. And I'm going to press him down really well so that um, marker doesn't get underneath the vinyl. And then I'm going to do my owl. Now, I like to make these into scenes. So there's a monkey and an elephant and the owl and the turtle and a whale and a fish and then a dog and a cat. You don't have to do that though. though. You can do whatever you want. You can put all the animals on one. You can put one animal on whatever you would like to do. So once I have them stuck down, I'm gonna color around them. So I think I'm going to use to start this green. And I'm just going to make some grass. You don't have to be really detailed with this because the water is going to bleed, sort of like with the snowball or the snowflake craft. Um, I am going to try to get it around my turtle, though, so that I have nice defined lines. So I'll go sort of around his legs. But then otherwise, I'm not going to be very specific and exact. It might get a little on the vinyl, that's okay. Um, it's not gonna, as long as it doesn't get under, you're good. Let's see here. So there's some grass. You can add as many colors as you want to this. One thing I am gonna let you know though is the more colors you add on top of each other, the more it's gonna run together when we add the water and bleed and it will turn into a mud color. So you might not wanna to do tons of that. So I'm just gonna do some lighter green behind him. Okay, so there is my finished piece of art. Now, I'm not done, but I need to get a better tray. So I'm going to move this for a second. I'm going to put it on this tray right here. So I've got a nice big tray because I'm going to use water for this. And I don't want to get water or color on anything nice. So if you're doing this, do it at a table where you won't get water on it. Okay, so I like to use an eyedropper to do this because I think you get a different blend. If you want it to be a little bit more precise, you can use a paintbrush, just a regular paintbrush. If you don't have those, you can just use a spoon and carefully dribble it on. Um, it's up to you. I'm going to use the eyedropper though because I like how that looks. But feel free to experiment. And then you just drop bits of the water down and see how the color is running. 
Now, I want the lighter colors to mix with the dark colors first. I don't want to get a muddy yellow. So I'm going to sort of drop down. And look at how much is coming out color-wise onto my paper towel. That's why you want a lot of paper towels. This will come off your hands. Um, I had a bunch on my hands the other day, and it came right off. So don't worry if it gets on your hands. You don't want it to get on your clothes or your skin or anything. On your clothes, your skin's fine. All right. See how it's blending down? Just drop some from there. Get a little bit of the orange mixing. You want to get it as wet as possible so that the colors will mix and blend. Oop, there it goes on my hands. So now I'm going to have green, yellow hands. And you want to get it around the animals, too, because you want to have that nice defined shape after. All right. So he is very wet. I'm going to move him and let him dry. It's all over me. That's okay. So the last step is going to be to peel off the stickers. Now, I did these two yesterday, so they're nice and dry. They're a little curved. It might make it hard to glue them down, but that's okay. So to peel off the stickers, it's really simple. You just want to get to the corner of one of the stickers and peel that up. So see, I've got that tiny little bit up. And then very carefully, you just peel it off. And there's the silhouette of your animal. And they're still sticky, so I mean, you could reuse these if you have more watercolor paper at home. Um, you want to make sure that your piece has dried really well, uh, just so you don't mess up any of the colors and everything. So uh, a couple of hours is good. Maybe overnight, I let this dry overnight. So there's that one. And let's do my jungle scene here. There you go, and then monkey. And there you go. So it's not a hard craft. You can do whatever you want with it. There's a lot of possibilities. Here are some of the ones that I've made. So whatever you would like, it's all up to you. And I hope you had a good time, and we'll see you later. Bye.